Welcome to this customer request tech tip provided by Imaginet Technologies. My name is Rusty Belcher. In today's tech tip, we're going to be taking a look at creating a center line for a bolt hole pattern. And you'll notice on this particular part, unlike many circular patterns, there's no central hole. So let's take a look at the challenge that that brings up. I'm going to hop into the drawing. And this tech tip is really drawing centric. We're not going to be focusing uh, so much on the 3D model. We're really going to be focusing on the drawing uh, for this tech tip. So I'm going to zoom in. I've already created the, the drawing views of the component. And I need to create my center line uh, circular pattern for the holes here. Now, in most cases, I would go up to the annotate tab and go over and I would start my command for the centered pattern. Well, I have a little challenge here. Uh, when I start, we're prompted to select the center of the pattern. Usually, in many cases, there's a hole here that I can select, but I don't have one in this case. So what am I going to do? Uh, how am I going to create a center line circle to define this bolt hole pattern? Well, believe it or not, you can actually use the center line command. So I'm going to start the center line command and I'm going to select the center of a one of the holes and I'll select the second hole in the pattern. Looks like I'm creating a line but now I'm going to select the third hole in the pattern and you can see that the center line command will create an arc or a circle. If I pick the original hole again the circle is complete and I can right click and select create. So it's very nice a very nice way for me to create a circular center line. I can finish up this view uh, if I'd like to come in and add just a few more uh, center lines that come across. And this way it allows me to document the center of the pattern or the center of the circle if I wanted to. Now that's great for a straight orthographic view I believe this is the aux view that's looking right at this sloping uh, piece of sheet metal. But I also just, I would like to show the bolt hole pattern in this orthographic view here. And notice that the view is a, is a skew based on the slope of the part. So how am I going to do that here? Well, the center line command is not going to be much use. We're going to have to sketch on the view and create what looks to be a center line for this orientation of the view. So I'm going to uh, select the view. I'm going to go back to my place view tab. With the view selected you can actually sketch on the view. Now I'm going to start this process by drawing just a, a simple construction line. So I'll draw a line from the center of those two circles there. And then I'm going to use an ellipse. I'm going to come over and start the ellipse command we're going to draw an ellipse from the center of that line out to the end point. And then I'm going to select the center of one of the circles in the pattern. So there you go. Now I have uh, a number of things I can delete out of this sketch. So I'm just going to select everything and shift select what I want to keep. And we'll delete everything else. So there is the circle that I would like to create. And I'd like to use it as a center line. So I'm going to finish my sketch. I can right click on the circle and go to its properties and I'm going to set its line type to chain. So there you go, that looks like the center line that I'm used to uh, in my drawing standard. Again, if we wanted to add the intersection lines that cross through the center, we can absolutely do that with the center line command. That gives us the little center marks at the ends of the lines as well. So there we go. So we've created an elliptical center line. And if you'd like to see me do that again, we can certainly do that for the isometric view here. So just like we did before, I'm going to select the view, then select Start Sketch. We'll draw our construction line in place. Then we'll draw our ellipse from the midpoint of that line out to the rest of the holes in the pattern. 
I'm just going to eliminate all the lines I don't need from my sketch except for the ellipse. Just delete that. Uh, let's finish our sketch and then we can change the properties of the line. And just like we did before, if you want to draw the uh, lines that cut across the pattern, we can use the center line for that. So there you go. That's how you create a center line circle using the center line or by sketching on a view using an ellipse and simulating a center line. If you have any questions about the contents of this video, please feel free to contact your Imaginet Technologies account manager or support representative.